Hey guys, Princess 3 x and today I am filming my August favorites. Um, this is hopefully right on time when I put this up. I'm hoping to put it up tonight. If it doesn't go up tonight, it'll go up tomorrow, uh, so on and so forth, um, until I can get it up for you guys, because, I don't know, I feel like I should be making more videos, and I'm not. So I feel really bad about that, but anyways, um, I'm just going to get started with my August favorites. Today in my August favorites, I actually have a mixture of items. I have beauty items, um, hair items, skincare items, and I also have some miscellaneous items, which I will save for the end so that you can watch the beauty section and then just cut it off if you don't care about the miscellaneous items. Um, so yeah, and sorry about my bangs. They are just not cooperating today. I just got home from school, so I'm a little um, sort of dull looking, I suppose. But anyways, I'm just going to get started with um, beauty. So the first thing that I have is the Wet n Wild Mega Shimmer Shimmer Dust. And this one is in 261, which is Pink Orchid. It's also on the bottom here. And this is basically a really fine, I'm trying to find a side. It's a really fine micro shimmer dust. And it's actually looking a lot more pink on camera than it actually is. It's actually not very pink um, in person. It's very, very faintly pink. Um, so I don't know why the name it suggests that it's more pink than it is. But it's just a really, really fine micro shimmer dust. And it looks like this. Even though, you know, you can't see it all. And I don't want to spill it. But you can see, which you probably can't. But it's just a very fine shimmer dust. Um, and it's not very noticeable. But what I do is I use it on my inner corner. And it just adds like the perfect pop of shimmer on my um, eye look and it's especially pretty when the light hits you and you can just see the shimmers um, in your inner corner so it's not really noticeable until the light hits you but when the light does hit you it's absolutely gorgeous um, so I love this it can be a bit messy but for the price it's absolutely amazing and you get loads of product that's a lot of product for it's not new by the way <laughs> um, that's a lot of product for a really small price so I love this it's great and um, it's great for an inner corner color which I've been obsessing over using it for the only thing that I can say is that if you have really 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 sensitive eyes I wouldn't recommend this because it can like get in your eye and irritate your eye or so on and so forth so I would be a little careful um, if you have sensitive eyes if you still want to try it out and you have sensitive eyes just buy it and try it with like a light amount um, I would just try out a little bit on your inner corner and see how it goes, um, wear it for a little while, see how it goes. If your eye does get irritated, don't use it, don't continue to use it because that's not very good for you. Okay, the next item, which I'm just going to include in beauty because it's, I guess it's beauty, um, or I could, it's a tool, it's a beauty tool, and this is what it looks like, and you guys are all probably like, um, is that a pin, what is that? Um, this is actually an electronic or electric or whatever eyelash curler. And I can personally say that it's amazing. Now this one is not the best that you can buy. I've heard the Panasonic one is very good, and Sephora makes one, Urban Decay makes one. So there are a lot of out, a lot of them out there. Um, this is the only one that I could get my hands on at the time, and I was lusting over it so much that I didn't want to wait any longer. So I just picked up this one, and hopefully soon I will pick up another one that's maybe a little bit better quality. But this is the Essence of Beauty one, and it looks like this. It is just sort of a long black tube. It does almost look like a pen. And it is very sleek and slender, so it's so easy to travel with. Um, it's easy to throw in my bag and go if I forget to curl my eyelashes that morning or whatever. Um, and it just has a little button here. So you pull off the top, and this is what it looks like. It does look a tad scary, but I've gotten a lot of questions about it, so I want to sort of go over those questions right now. Um, I do use this on my lashes every morning. What I'll do is I will curl it with my mechanical curler, apply my mascara, and then you have to let your mascara dry or it's a disaster zone. It gets messy and sticky and gross. So you have to let your mascara dry before you use this. But I'll let my mascara dry, and then I will just, you know, use this. But the only thing I don't like about this is that it takes a really long time to heat up and I don't know if that's because of the strength of my battery or what's going on but it does take a while to heat up so I have to let it heat up the entire time I'm doing my makeup and then I just do my mascara last um, but other than that I have no complaints and you just use this side, the side with all the little coils on it to heat your eyelashes and I know this sort of sounds scary but 
no, you don't poke yourself in the eye with it. It's sort of impossible because it is like this. Unless you're very clumsy, you're not going to poke yourself in the eye. And it does not get hot enough to burn your skin. I know that when I first got it, I was worried. I was like, oh my gosh, if I hit my skin with this, is it going to burn? Um, so on and so forth. But you can actually like touch it to your finger and feel, you know, touch it. Um, and it's not hot enough to burn you. I don't know what to say about others because I haven't tried others. I don't know how hot they get, but this one does not get hot enough to burn you at all. You can feel the warmth when you're doing your lashes. You can feel it like on your eyelid skin, but other than that, you can't really feel the warmth. Um, but you just switch this up and it turns on. And the good thing about this is if you forget to turn it off, um, as long as you put on the cap each time, it will turn off. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't get hot enough to like burn down your house or anything. So. And if you're wondering how you put in batteries, basically this is a casing here, and you just pull it apart like that, and then there's your little battery. So, it's pretty handy, and I do like it a lot. It has made a definite difference to my lashes when I use it. Um, it separates them, and it lengthens them, and makes them a lot more noticeable. I do wish it worked a little bit better, because I've heard more good things about it than I've experienced, but I do like it for the price that I paid, um, and I would definitely buy another one. I do plan on buying another one um, sometime in the future. So, the next thing I want to mention in the beauty section real quick, because it's not really a beauty item that's supposed to be in my favorites, but I want to talk about it anyways, is my Skin79 VIP Gold Collection BB Cream. And I have mentioned this in so many videos. Um, I've talked about this lots of times, so you guys already know all the information on it. I basically wanted to do this in the August favorites so that I could give you guys an update on it. I don't want to make a whole separate video on an update for it, so I'm just going to give you an update now. Basically, this has been a miracle for my skin. Um, right now, I'm actually not wearing it. I'm wearing the Maybelline Dream Smooth Mousse Foundation. But I have been wearing this just about every single day for the past two months, and it is a lifesaver. Um, it goes on flawlessly, it looks super natural, and it's so easy to put on. And not only that, but I've actually seen the skin benefits starting to happen. Um, I don't know how fast you're supposed to see results, but I think I have already seen results. I'm not sure I could just be... I'm a little too optimistic about it, but I have seen results from the whitening. My acne scars are actually starting to go away, and I just think that's amazing. I wasn't expecting a lot out of the whitening. Um, I was just sort of getting it because I liked the way it looked. However, I've actually seen benefits from the whitening, and this actually makes me want to really branch out with BB creams and see what others offer. Um, so I really love this. It has dramatically lightened my dark spots, my acne scars. It's evened out my face a lot tone-wise to the point where I can actually feel confident walking out of the house without foundation on. Um, it's not a big deal. I used to be, I had so many acne scars and dark discoloration areas, especially around my jawline, that I would want to cover up with foundation. Um, but I feel like I don't have to rely on foundation now because it's really evened out my skin tone. That was my biggest problem before. And the last product that I have makeup wise is a blush. And this is something that you can ask my friends. I have been obsessing over this entire month and a little bit of the month before. I've had it for a little while now. And this is the NYC Blushable Cream Stick Blush, I guess. And um, it is amazing. I heard a lot of things. There's a lot of hype about this when it first came out and I could never get my hands on it because there's nowhere near me that really sells um, NYC products and finally at my CVS I guess they must have gotten a little shipment of like overflow NYC products because this was in the clearance bin and thank gosh I checked the clearance bins in CVS because if I didn't I would have never found this and oh, that would have been just been sad. This is in Wildberry and this I've actually gotten questions on as well. Um, I will list this in the down, I will list all my products in the down bar because I know it's hard to see the names, especially in this lighting. But anyways, it is just this really hot Barbie pink color, um, almost sort of a magenta and it's just gorgeous. It's a lot of product because you don't actually use a lot, but... It is amazing. I cannot just tell you guys how much I love this. So basically, um, the first perk about it is that you can use it not only on your cheeks like it's supposed to be used, but also on your lips. Nowhere does it say cheek stain or lip stain. It just says cream stick. So you can actually use it on both your um, cheeks and your lips. You could use it on your eyes, I guess, if you needed a pink base. Um, anywhere. It's very, very versatile and it just blends in so flawlessly on your cheeks and so flawlessly on your lips. I've used it on both areas before and I like it using it on both areas. I don't prefer one over the other. Um, it is a little bit easier for me to just use it on my lips rather than having to use it on my cheeks and then set it with a powder, but 
I love it for both reasons and it is just amazing. It sinks into your skin and I'll, if I'm wearing it on my cheeks, I'll set it with a powder. If I'm wearing it on my lips, I'll just throw a lip balm over it so that it's not too dry and it's just amazing. And it basically like melts in your fingers and it's hard to explain until you feel it. Like I've described it to people that I want to recommend the product to and I'll just be like, um, it like melts in your fingers, like on your fingertips and I'm like, oh, whatever. Like <laughs> you're just selling the brand, but it really does. Um, it's very, very creamy and then when I get them to feel it, they're in shock. So it's amazing. I recommend it and um, it's a great price for the product. You get a lot of product for a really tiny amount and it's, not bad packaging. I don't mind the packaging actually. Um, I do fairly like it. Um, it's convenient, it's tiny, and I can travel easily with it. Um, so I'm up to 12 minutes now. Hopefully I can edit this down, but I'm going to go into skincare next. I only have one skincare item, so I won't talk too long. This is the April's Cold Cream. Ooh. And it's basically equivalent to the Palms Cream, except for this is the dollar version. It's the cheap version, because I didn't know whether I would like cold cream or not, so I just decided I would get the cheap version. And I don't remember if I've talked about this before, but I've been using it for um, about three months now, um, three or four months, and I just don't think I ever thought to mention it. If I've mentioned it before, then good, you already know. If I haven't, then you're learning about it now. So basically, I got this um, just at the dollar store. It was just there, and I was like, okay, might as well try it. And for a long time when I first tried it, it actually, because I would use it all over my face as like a cream cleanser, um, then I would wash it off. And I didn't like it. I absolutely hated it. Because not only did it feel really oily, left this like greasy film on my face, but it also made me break out all along my jawline and gave me highs. So I stopped using it because I was like, okay, this is not good for my skin. Um, it's not doing anything benefit me skin wise. It's just making my skin worse. So I stopped using it and then I decided to start using it again to take off my eye makeup. And, um... I was a little bit worried about the allergic reaction again, but that didn't actually happen. And I've been using it for about four months steady now, just taking off my eye makeup, and it's so amazing. Um, you don't, of course, don't have to get this exact brand. You can get Pons or any brand for that matter, um, as long as it's a cold cream. And I can just say how long this will last. It's still completely full, and I've been using it for like four months. Um, I wish I could open this. Okay. Basically, um, it's just in a jar. And I keep the little plastic lid on, but it looks like this, which you can't really see because it's white. But you can see how much is left. I've only used um, like this much out of the container, and I've been using it for a really long time. And I only use like one little finger swoop. Um, I don't scoop a lot out. I just use that, and then I use a washcloth, um, a dry washcloth, to just take it off, and then I will like rinse my face with water afterwards. Um, just to make sure I get off that film. So the only thing I don't like is that it does leave a little bit of a film. And if you don't wash your face with water after you do it, that film will stay there. It's very uncomfortable. But other than that, it removes my makeup in like five seconds, quite literally. I'll take it, rub it on, and then wipe off my makeup. And it comes off in one swipe. And it is amazing. Um, I would have definitely turned to this before had I known how well it worked. Um, I can take off my makeup in like 10 seconds and it's definitely not as big of a hassle as it used to be when I used makeup wipes. So I do really like this and I recommend it if you're looking for a great way, an easy way to take off your makeup. So next in the hair category, um, the first item is something that I can't even imagine living without it now. Um, this is the Tresemme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo for oily to straight, oily straight to normal hair. And it looks like this, and I'm pretty sure they don't make another one that's for like, I don't know, curly or whatever hair, so I don't know why that's there. But it says, waterless oil and odor remover with mineral clay and citrus, professional quality. And for the longest time I thought dry shampoo was just a gimmick, I didn't think it would. My hair gets oily really easily nowadays. Um, so this is really helpful. I don't wash my hair every day because it's not good for my hair to wash it every day, it'll just dry it out. So what I'll do is... I'll use this product and it will completely extract all the oil from my hair and make my hair smell really good and it's just, oh, it's amazing. Um, and it's really, really, really handy. So what you, I do, personally, is I shake it and then it just has a like aerosol nozzle and I will flip my head upside down and spray it and then I will spray it on my roots, make sure I get my roots, lift up my layers, and spray my roots, like that. I don't use a lot. It seems like I would use a lot doing that method, but I don't because it's very light and you hold it far away. And then I just use my fingers and like mess up my hair, rub it in really well, and then I just comb out my hair. And it's like, it's amazing. So it just really 
extracts the oil from your hair and even though it's white I don't have a problem with it I do have pretty light hair I have blonde hair so uh, it didn't look like it on camera but I have blonde hair so it blends in pretty nicely I would say if you had black hair to be a little careful my friend is a brunette and she got the same product it works fine for her if you have black hair I'd be a little careful but um, they also sound sell a brunette ones that you can buy from like Batiste I think um, so if you are worried about the white showing up, just look for a brunette one. Um, but I do recommend dry shampoo of any kind. This is the only one I've owned so far, so I can't compare it to others, but I love it. So, yeah. And then next is these little Velcro ribbons. And, um, for the longest time I wanted to try these, or not try them, but I wanted to buy a pair. And I always thought that they were just Asian specialty hair items. Um like only sold in specialty stores like Asian stores because um, they are or they did I assume originate in Asia and they were really big um, they are still really big they're very cute but I actually went to my dollar store my local dollar store and they had them there and I about flipped when I saw them they had two different sets of colors two came in one and it was one dollar which is an amazing price I think for something that I've been listing over for a really long time and this is what mine look like um, they are if you don't know they are shaped like bows and they are just basically velcro pieces and what you do is you take your bangs and you just slide it back like that and it'll hold it while you're doing your makeup um, and it's still super cute so I love that product um, and I'm super happy I found them in my dollar store because I never thought I would find them anywhere. This one, if you're wondering the patterns, this one is a patent um, pink and white polka dotted one, which is really cute. And then this one is a matte or semi-matte um, mint and white gingem patterned one. And they are just really cute. The other one, the other pack that they had was, one was zebra and one was leopard. So if I can find them again, I might actually go back and get those. Of course, I don't need more, but hey, who's complaining when they look this cute? Yeah, they're really cute and really handy for traveling as well. So, um, so that's it for the beauty favorites. Turn the video off if you don't want to see the miscellaneous. Um, you don't have to watch the miscellaneous. It's just two items. Um, but basically, one thing that I've been obsessed with this month um, is the Quaker Chewy Smash Bar, and this one is in Pretzel Berry. I've also tried the, what is it, Pretzel Graham or Graham Pretzel, um, the one that's with Graham Crackers and Pretzels, but I like this one the most. And what it is, is it's just a granola bar um, that has, I know it has a list here somewhere. Oh gosh, I don't know. Um, oh, it has pretzels, berries, oat cereal, and chocolate in the bar and that sounds like a very weird combination but it is amazing it's like salty and sweet and then you have the oats um, which give it the texture and it's just amazing that's what it looks like I don't actually don't have a bar to show you because I ate all of them but um, they're really good and they fill you up so quickly because of all the cranberries and the oats in them um, so it's just really good you can see all the benefits it has up here I'm not gonna read all of them but it does have a lot of benefits, and Quaker bars are known to be pretty healthy, um, even though, of course, you know, chocolate isn't that healthy. But it's healthier than just eating, like, I don't know, a piece of chocolate or something. It definitely curbs your um, sweet tooth, and it's really, really, really good. So I definitely recommend those. And then the next thing that I've been, I guess not obsessing over, but using a lot, is the Vitafusion Power C Immune Support Gummy Vitamins for Adults. And... I do take pills, I can take pills, um, but I can't take big pills, and most vitamins are huge if you've ever taken vitamins before. Um, so I like that these are gummies, and the fact that they actually taste like oranges. They don't taste like fake bleh, gummies for like children. Um, it comes with 70 gummies, and it's an excellent source of vitamin C, is what the bottle says. Um, Basically, I've been taking these to keep my immune system up and to keep me from getting sick. School is very important to me, so I'd rather just I'd rather not miss it for sickness, um, and I don't like getting sick. No one likes getting sick. Um, so I actually have found that these do help me a bit. They've been keeping me from getting like sinus infections, uh, I mean sinus problems, um, and I haven't gotten sick since I started taking them. So I don't know if that's just the gummies or me just not getting sick. But I do think that in the long run it would help my um, immune system. And basically it says two gummies um, have the same vitamin C as 10 tangerines. 
that's a lot of vitamin C. Um, 10 tangerines is a crazy amount of vitamin C. So sometimes I just take one gummy, but most of the time I do take two. And I want to show you what they look like. They're actually really cute. I haven't taken my two for the day. So I'll take two now. But they are actually really cute. They do look like little oranges or little orange slices. You can see them. And they're fairly large. As far as right now, I am, the only ones that I know they have are the Power Seeks. That's the only ones I've tried. But um, I love them. They're amazing. They work really well. I feel like I'm talking about a makeup product. Um, but I do think they help your immune system in the long run. And they don't taste bad. They taste exactly like oranges. It's like eating a little orange candy. So, yeah. Um, if, you're t if you've wanted to take vitamins for a long time but you're afraid of the pills... Definitely check out Vitafusion. Um, I don't know if they have a site. They might have a site. Um, yeah, nnpvitamins.com, which I will list in the down bar along with all the product names. Um, so you can check that out if you're interested. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe, send in your requests, and I will see you guys later.